Okay, we're at the practice for Unit 2, Lesson 3, finally. Um, hopefully we're getting the hang of this. Write the equation of the line. All right, so plain old line sitting there. What should we do first? We should always find the y-intercept first. There it is right there. There's my b. b the ordered pair there is 0, negative 4, which means b is negative 4. Now, where is another point on the line? There's one there, there's one there. It doesn't matter which one I use. Um, what's that one? That is 2, 0. Um, I think there's a couple problems on the test. It says give me two points on the line, so you want to be able to do that. Okay, so what's the slope? Um, up 2 and over 1. This is a positive slope. So m equals up 2 over 1. So slope equals 2. So a positive slope that's going to start with y equals 2x. Don't forget to, get, forget to put the x in there. Minus 4. Done. Okay. This one, here's the y-intercept. b equals a negative 1. Let's see, another point on the line, there's one there, there's one there, so up to back three, that makes sense, this is down the mountain, that's a negative slope, so m equals negative three, no, no, what goes on top when you're doing the rise or run? The rise goes on top, so the rise was two, and then we went back three, or you could go over three and then up. So this is back three and up two. Either way, um, it's a negative slope. Okay, so y equals negative two-thirds x minus one. Let me look at my key. Yep. Okay. All right, this one has what? It is, its slope is undefined. So it doesn't have a slope that exists, is, so therefore it doesn't have a y-intercept. So it's not going to start with a y equals, so x equals, let's see, where is this? This is x equals 1, okay? If you need to put some dots on the line, this is what? Negative 1, 0, negative 1, 3, okay? That's the equation of the line. How about this one? goes across. If it goes across, my slope is 0. It goes across at b equals negative 1. This ordered pair is what? Negative 1, 0. Over here, this is negative 2. Negative 1. Wait a minute, I did something wrong. Zero. Oh, backwards. This dot over here has to be what? 0, negative 1. It goes across. Okay, it goes across at a negative 1. If it goes across and its slope is 0, then y equals negative 1. Okay? y equals negative 1, as in that's how I noticed I got the thing wrong, because like this point over here, this is 3, negative 1. y has to be negative 1. So that's how I knew I did the point wrong, okay? All right, this one is what? A negative slope, it goes down through B equals zero. That's a zero, zero spot right there, okay? I'm pretty sure the test questions are gonna say, put two points on the graph with ordered pairs, okay? Put that on there. Um, so B equals zero, and then what's the slope? It looks like these are all points here. So the slope is 1, 1, which is 1, okay? So let's see, y equals, wait, 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 up 1, back 1, negative 1. That's a negative-looking slope, okay? This all has to tie together, and that, I think that's how I, you know, catch little parts. So there's a lot of moving parts on this thing. So negative 1x plus 0. Now that's... I would accept that. I don't think mom's going to take that. That's going to be y equal negative x, period, right? Don't need to show the non, don't need to show the zero, 
That was a weird thing. Okay, this one is a positive slope going through a 2. B equals 2. Where's another spot on the graph? I don't see another spot on the graph. Oh, here's one. So that's kind of one there. That's, it's, that's a little tricky. That's why I help you find the spots if you don't see them. Um, let's see. So the slope is from point to point. So up 3 over 2. Up the rise on top over 2. You can go down and back. That's a double negative. Down 3, back 2. The negative 3 over negative 2 is a positive, right? So let's see. So that means y equals 3 over 2x. And what was b? b was 2, a positive 2. OK? All right, graph the equation of the line with at least two points. Always label the points with ordered pairs. Yes, OK, so my slope is there. My b is there. Always start with the b. Where is negative 1? Right there is my b. This means the b is at 0, negative 1, OK? So there's my point right there. Label the points with ordered pairs. Let me see where I'm going first. Up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 2. This is a positive slope. Make sure it ends up positive on here. So this is going to be, what, 0, negative 1, and this is going to be 2, 2. Um, I can also go 1, 2, 3 down, 1, 2, 3 over, 1, 2, 3 up, 1, 2 over. So these are all points on the line. Any two of those would work. Um, if you need to check, I'm saying that x can be 2 and y can be 2. x can be 2, y can be 2. So that means 2 equals 3 over 2 equals 2 uh, times 2 over 1 minus 1. So this will cross out 2 equals 3 minus 1, 2 equals 2. Okay, that is correct. This all has to work together. This one, I can't tell what's going on. I need to turn it around first. Um, Let's see. So I need the y on this side. So move the 3x over here. So this is 2y equals th negative 3x. Uh, yeah, minus 6 divided by 2. So the equation of this line in slope-intercept form is negative 3 uh, is, uh, over 2 is the slope. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that's the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. So my b is negative 3, which is right there. I just find that the easiest way. There are other ways, and I can talk to you about them. But let's stick with that right now. The slope says go down 3 and over 2. But I'm kind of at the end of the graph. So remember, this is the same as 3 over negative 2 minus 3. Okay. So let's go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then back 2. Make sure this ends up a negative slope going down the mountain, OK? So this is 0, negative 3. Always label your, um, always label your y-intercepts, all right? And then this one, you know I'm not going to take off if you missed the point. If the point's in the right place and you just like did, I did just a sloppy line through, I'm OK with that as long as you get the point right. So this is negative 2. 0 for the point, OK? All right, this one is the, I don't know if you can hear my dryer going off in the background, but that's what that is. It sings when it's over. It's awful. Um, so x equals is not in slope-intercept form. Remember, that is a vertical line going where? Through negative 4, OK? Label two points on it. This is not a y-intercept. It's nowhere near. It has no y-intercept. It has no slope. But it goes through negative 4 at negative 4, 0. The x is negative 4. This goes through negative 4, 3. This goes through negative 4, negative 3. Notice that the x is always 4. Okay? Is that it? I think that's it.